Saints coming with the doing the Science of Auroras. If you want to see some cool lights in the sky, you better head to the ends of the Earth, literally. That's where you can catch the aurora, a dazzling display of colors that dance and swirl like magic. But don't get confused. The aurora has different names depending on where you are. In the north, it's called the aurora borealis, which just means northern dawn. In the south, it's called the Aurora Australis, which means Southern Dawn. So, don't let the fancy names fool you. They're both the same thing, just in different places. What causes the Northern Lights? Well, it's a cosmic dance party between particles from the Sun and the Earth's magnetic field. It's like they're doing the tango up there, but instead of feet, they're using charged particles and magnetic forces. Over to Professor Feldman for a more in-depth explanation. Once upon a time, in a galaxy not so far away... Okay, stop that, stop that, now. There was a star called the Sun. Hi, I'm the Sun, but you can call me Colin. Turn his mic off. Just a moment. He can go on a bit. Incoming! It was an average-sized uh, star among uh, billions uh, uh, of other stars in the Milky Way. Little did Colin know that his wild behavior would lead to a spectacular light show called the Aurora. Unfortunately, Colin is suffering from wind. <coughs> uh, not that sort of wind. Solar wind. Using their fancy satellites, scientists can peek into the sun's dynamic atmosphere, known as the chromosphere. There, they witness the sun's intense regions and its dramatic eruptions called the coronal mass ejections. These CMEs were like the sun's way of throwing a cosmic tantrum, hurling billions of tons of particles at mind-boggling speeds. These solar winds are composed of both bursts and constant flow of particles that leave the sun continuously. During solar maximum, these solar storms could occur several times a day and sometimes they were aimed right at our dear old Earth. But fear not, our planet had a secret weapon, an invisible shield known as the Earth's magnetic field, or the magnetosphere. This is like having a superhero cave that deflects the incoming solar storm. As the solar storm reached Earth, something magical happened. The magnetic field of the Sun and the Earth joined forces creating a cosmic funnel. But, down on the daylight side of the pole, a hidden daytime aurora danced, invisible to our eyes. But wait, there's more. The magnetic field stretched further like a rubber band being pulled back. And then, with a snap, they broke, releasing gas from the solar storm. This gas followed the magnetic lines streaming backwards towards the polar regions of the night side. And there, my friends, is where the real show begins. In the depths of the night sky, the nighttime aurora took center stage. It was like a celestial ballet of particles traveling along the magnetic field. As those particles collided with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere, something magical occurred. Okay then, more scientific than magic. During such hits, they transfer energy to the atoms and bring the electrons to an excited state. From this state, they can relax again via the emissions of light. Depending on the energy difference of these states, the wavelength of the emitted light varies from red, low energies, to blue, high energies. Oxygen atoms emit light in the visible range, dominant in two ways. One corresponds to red, the other one to green. The red light from oxygen atoms is slow and rare. Green light is fast and common. Auroras are red high up and green lower down. So that's the simplified science of auroras. Over to Attenberger for more Northern Lights info. 
Can you see the northern lights with the naked eye? Absolutely. It's a visual tree for your eyeballs, as long as you're in the right place at the right time. But hold on a second, are the northern lights dangerous? Well, they won't send you running for cover or make you duck and dive. They're just harmless, flashy lights in the sky. Here's a funny one. Do the northern lights make any sound? Nope. Sorry to disappoint you. They're completely silent. It's all about the visual spectacle. And finally, let's debunk some myths about the northern lights. They don't grant you superpowers or turn you into an interstellar superhero. Sorry, no Kate for you. And no, they're not a secret alien disco party, although there would be a stellar party to crash. So, now you know a little more about the northern lights. They're a natural wonder that lights up the sky without any sound effects, danger, or secret alien gatherings. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's a cosmic comedy that's sure to leave you starstruck. Subscribe!